Visiting Japan was a dream come true. Being 13 years old watching anime, studying Japanese language and history in university has brought me closer and closer to this dream. I got to spend seven days exploring Tokyo, meeting up with old friends and bumping into new ones, eating food I only saw on the screen and being immersed in a unique culture. This was my bucket list trip, one I'll never forget. Until I get to go back, please enjoy this vlog with me. Nihon ni iko. So I'm in the airport. I'm about to go on the train so I don't want to talk while I'm on the train because it's just not good manners. Um, I just spoke to someone and made sure that I was getting on the right train line, which it should be coming literally now. So I'm gonna head over to the Airbnb. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and stay tuned for the Japan content. I am so grateful. It feels unreal and I feel like I want to cry. But here we are in Tokyo. Well, not in Tokyo yet, but almost in Tokyo. <sighs> Alright, like, comment, share, subscribe, and... Hey B-Squad, this is the room tour section of the vlog. I'm going to be really quick. Well, I'll pop up the name of the little area that this is called. For some reason, I can't remember the name right now. But art door shoes stay in this area. And then you'll put on little slippers when you get inside. There's also storage here. Actual rolls of storage for extra shoes and other stuff. To the right of the entrance is a full service washing machine. And they provided us with detergent, which is amazing. Super grateful. And then when you come in, you'll see a full body mirror. Full, full, full body mirror. You girlies know I love that. Now to the left of the entrance, you have the kitchen. It's a very humble kitchen. It's really cute and tiny, compact. Love it. It does have a hot water heater system. You have extra utensils down at the bottom. You have a toaster oven, a microwave, and the fridge itself. To the right of the kitchen is the toilet area locked away. There are extra tissues and napkins up top. Guys, I use this toilet and the seat is warm it is warm i need to see what other functions may you know that it may have hidden that i don't know about but the toilet seat was warm and it felt amazing because outside is actually really cold but yeah and then once you're done with that lock it away and you're good so then immediately to the right is the shower i already set up all my stuff it's very nice just like a regular um, bathroom that you'd get in a hotel in America. The only thing is so tiny and cute. It reminds me of London because the London um, hotel was actually really small as well. Uh, yeah, now let's head on into the room. You have this little bench right here. Also, there's separate trash. There's different recyclable sections for plastic and then for actual like meat and like they have the logos on it so you can see like what type of stuff goes in each of these bins the room is so cute i actually just found a light so those of you that watch this on tiktok i found the light switch it's right here <laughs> it's such a cute hotel room oh my god i'm obsessed the bed is just everything we do have our towels and body rags right there. And then we have a balcony. I'll show you that real quick. And a closet. There's another storage area that I completely forgot to show you. So I'm going to have to touch back on that. But I have my two suitcases in here. There's also a safe. And 
an ironing board right there with a clothing rack that you can hang up on the balcony like tell me that sounds super smart but i've already started to hang up some stuff like my jackets all that extra good things now let me touch back and show you guys something that i forgot so just like over here with the storage at the entrance you do have storage right here as well opens up like this Ta -da. so you have a lot of storage in this hotel room now let's head over to the balcony and then of a view but guys I have a whole entire balcony. I'm super grateful. This would be the perfect Airbnb to come in the summertime when you need some cool air. It is super duper cold outside and raining so I'm gonna close that up and enjoy the warmth for a little bit. Here's what it looks like when I blend it up. And I got an egg sandwich. So we'll be eating those upstairs. As for right now, I'm gonna withdraw some again. tried it but our first impressions it tastes like an um it tastes like an omelet with pancake syrup that's exactly what it tastes like mm. it's actually really good so i'm gonna finish this up and i'm going to go and get some more food Definitely go check out my TikTok to see like a little bit longer videos of me trying the food. Bye. Alrighty. It's starting to get a little bit more crowdy. I don't know what I want to try. There's another line. Hiya. There's a lot of other Asian country foreigners here. Look at this line. I wonder what they're trying. There's a lot of Korean and a lot of um, people from different parts of China here. So that's really cool. And I do see like other European looking tourists. So I'm gonna try one of these. Yeah. The, um, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Let me stand to the side and I'll test it out and I'll come right back. This is really good. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> so good. So chewy and flavorful. Mm. Mm. This is the man I saw on TikTok. Okay, I'm gonna definitely try his. He came highly recommended from a girl. She is um, a Japanese citizen, but she lives abroad and she goes back to Japan often. And she said his, I think it's like a rice bowl. His fish was so fresh and amazing. So I'm gonna try that. First impressions. It's tuna and salmon and fish eggs. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, the pickled ginger is so fresh. Let's try the salmon. Mm. When I tell you this is delicious, oh my god. Got my candied strawberry and so cute. Okay, we're gonna try this one. Mm. So cold. <laughs> I like mochi, but I think I could pass on this one. But the candied fruit was really good I'm getting ridiculously cold so I'm gonna take a little break put all my stuff away and put my hands in my pocket I stepped into this little area and I bought the cutest I got the cutest um, little tray I actually got that one I'll show you guys later in a little haul but they're so cute. Oh, okay. Alright. I think I'm ready to go back out. But I will be putting the camera away still. Because my fingers. I need to go buy a glove. Immediately. So I was walking and I saw these two black girls in the little market that I was in a while ago. And she was like, hi. And I'm like, hi. I'm looking at her because sometimes some of my subscribers will come up to me and say hi and I'm like damn like what are the odds but she's like I don't know because <laughs> I'm looking at her like who is this girl and she's just said I was like saying hi to other black people when I see them so we laughed about it but I completely agree but I'm just like it took me off guard for a minute that was so cute though three black girls in Japan I know there's a lot more but just that situation a while ago Anywho, I don't know what else I want to try other than Wagyu, the beef. Um, but I think I can try that another day. It is day one of seven. I think I will be back on a warmer day. 
because it's raining and it's super cold but the what is it oh, I don't even know I don't know what I'm saying my mind's going all over the place I think I'm gonna hit up one of the shrines and yeah I don't know what else to say bye the line is getting longer and longer I'm so glad I came early but it really was worth it. It was very delicious and sweet. I think this might be the last street of the market and yeah the only thing that I'm interested now in trying really is the Wagyu so I think I may find a Wagyu skewer this crab just looks so amazing but yeah I may find a Wagyu skewer this is what it looks like and I may be back yeah I think I have to make a trip to Japan at least once a year just like how i go back to jamaica like at least once a month my japan trip needs to become an annual thing because i'm obsessed there's just so much to do i met someone on the plane yesterday and she was so amazing she introduced me to her husband they're traveling together and they're only here for five days because they have a super busy schedule but they wanted to try it and they were just so nice this ice cream place i've seen as well on tiktok but girl it is too cold oh my god look jamaica blue mountain coffee that is so cute that is so nice so i've been in the skiji market for about an hour and a half almost two hours now i'm gonna find my way to a supermarket or some type of shopping center like a uniqlo or don quixote or something close because my fingers are starting to freeze they're starting to get red and really hard and i yeah i checked the weather and it said it was supposed to be like a little warmer so i don't know where this cold front came from but I'm freezing so I need to buy a glove and a scarf and the person that I was telling you guys about she was texting me she said she's heading over here now so it's sad that I'm leaving when she's coming but I gotta get something for my fingers but, um let me show you the last couple places that I really like Okay, so I'm going to be heading to the Uniqlo towards um, Tokyo Station, which is in the direction of the shrines that I want to visit. I think I walked the wrong way, which is only six minutes. I walked to the wrong train entrance and I don't know if I can get over there underground. So I'm just going to walk on the above ground version, which is outside. My fingers did start to warm up a bit, so hopefully we can get there quickly. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think of the quality of the video, of the quality of the sound. I dropped my camera on accident um, when I was leaving the Airbnb. I'm gonna say get a rotted drop, but ever since then, the, the quality just feel a little bit, you know, like when your parents slap you because you talk too much or you run too much, and you just you just stand up a little bit straight. Yeah, I saw the camera quality feel. Anyways, 
Let me go back to Google Maps because I'd hate to be walking the wrong way. Guys, we made it. We made it. Oh my God, the warmth feels so good. And I'm right at Tokyo Station. So whenever I'm ready to go anywhere else, I will be right where I need to be. I think it's getting a bit foggy. So I'll be right back. I finally found a place to buy a scarf I mean a gloves I didn't see any scarf and I didn't see any red gloves I wanted a red glove but this will be perfectly fine I'm gonna have to turn my rings on the inside Perfect. and I also bought the rag I wasn't telling you guys I told TikTok but when you're in Japan um, I'm not gonna say all the bathrooms but a lot of the public bathrooms don't have any hand towel or paper towel to dry your hands so people recommend that you bring your own hand rag so i did buy one this is my new gloves i'm gonna show you what this store looks like really quickly it is so cute here i love everything um it reminds me of like a five and below but like with a Target style because everything was very affordable. So let's take a look at the store. Alrighty, I'm looking for the Ueno Tokyo line. I may have to ask for directions because I don't know. Yes, the central side. Somewhere I need to be, but I don't know which one is the only no Tokyo line. I think they're having some type of anime convention. convention. It's so cute. And then some people here are also dressed up. All right, let me find that way no Tokyo line. I'll be right back. I should have definitely arrived a lot earlier as you can see it's so packed but we're gonna work our way in and then I'll show you guys what's going on there are a lot of the, um, vendors along the walk to the temple there's a lot of unique stuff to buy so cool Sensoji Shrine Temple.
Super beautiful. I wish you guys can see the scale of it. Like the camera is not doing it any justice. Wow. I think I got some cute pictures. I'm gonna pop them up on the screen here. But the entrance to the temple is so overwhelming. <laughs> It's so cool. So pretty. And the ladies in their kimonos. So pretty. Oh, their outfits are so cute. I don't think I can record inside the temple, which of course, well, you know, it's, it's a holy place just like how when you go to church and you know, really want to record inside church just out of respect so i'm gonna go pull a fortune and hopefully it's a good one if it's not you can tie it away on the rack I'm gonna find it. So hopefully it's a good luck. Hopefully it's not bad. Okay, I found it. This is right here. Oh. Is this the right one? It's a bad fortune. It's actually so funny though because um well I pulled out two let me put one back it's it's so funny because it it really relates to what I'm feeling right now whoa this is what it looks like I'm actually gonna take a picture and then I'm gonna tie it away. <laughs> I tied away the bad fortune. I'm gonna go inside the temple and you know try to bring some good luck on myself. So let's go do that. Hey guys, so I'm in Starbucks and the only reason why I'm in Starbucks is because I wanted to charge my phone. But I'm looking around and there's no outlets here. Which is interesting. I've never seen the Starbucks without any outlets. So maybe I can try and ask one of the um, baristas if I could charge my phone. Because I depend on it. I really need to buy a power bank. But I just haven't been to any of those shopping centers yet. And I want to see what the next place is on our list. I also got a hot chocolate because I'm really cold and I don't want to get sick so I need something warm, something liquidy and I would love some soup but I'm just not that hungry. So yeah. The temple is to the right of the Starbucks and the train station is like straight that way. Thank you. 
Just finished in Starbucks and it's like God always have a plan because I was getting ready to leave and I'm trying to figure out like exactly where I'm gonna go because I only had six percent on my phone and then this gentleman comes and sit next to me and he pulls out his power bank so I was like oh my god where did you buy that because I need to go buy one right now so he said he bought it in Thailand he's from Thailand that's where he got it so then he was showing me how 7-eleven and um, Family Mart has the charge stations and then he was like hey if you want to charge up your phone right now before you leave you can just if you have the cable you can plug it into the power bank and you know I'll let you charge your phone and I was like thank you so much and that's exactly what I did so now my phone's on 40% which is more than enough for me to get to where I need to get to and with that being said I think I'm gonna head over to Shibuya it's only 2.45 on day one and I've been to Skichi Fish Market and Sensoji so yeah Shibuya would be nice or if I can get anywhere between Shibuya then I will I definitely want to try an onsen um, I also maybe want to go further outside of Tokyo so if I get everything done that I initially want to try then why not but there's this little area right here I'm gonna go check it out because what's life if you don't make random choices right so let's go So I figured out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Tokyo Sky Tree, which is literally right in front of me. It is so close. It's about another 15 minutes away from me. I think it's a great idea that I go over there. I'm already in the area and it's something I already planned to do. So it's quite perfect to just walk right over. Now I'm crossing this bridge. I think it's called the Azuma Bridge and it's really pretty these apartments must go for a lot because they look good and they have a beautiful view of the Tokyo sky tree and there's a body of water wow
I'm honestly so oh, grateful I'm back to the Airbnb all safe and sound and I got to experience a lot today and I'm back in pretty early it is a little after five literally four minutes after five I'm gonna shower and I am gonna look up some restaurants nearby to see if I see anything. I'm gonna even try to check out TikTok. Maybe TikTok has some recommendations for the area that I'm in. I'm so grateful. I'm actually also gonna watch Shogun episode three. Shogun is a series written by, I believe they say he's Australian. He could be British, but it's a book written, written by, let's call them Australian, man. And it is based off of the Shogun era, the, uh, what is it, which era is it, the Edo period? I'm so sorry, my mind is all over the place. But it is based off of Japan in the 1600s. This um, English man washed up along the coast of... Um, Japan and he arrived in a time where one of the I'm gonna put it in a simplest term one of the main leaders in Japan um was dead and so the um, people underneath him started to go to war even though he left a son in charge his son was way too young to take on his title so he set up a structure where these uh, men would rule in place until his son was of age but you know how men get when they get a little bit of power they start to fight for it and what was supposed to remain in place is then kicked to the curb so this Englishman then washes up on shore during that period of political turmoil. And mm, using my big words <laughs> because I'm like, where where are the good words at? Um, it's always when you're explaining something to somebody, but when you're talking to yourself, these words fly left and right like you you're you're in this huge diplomatic mission and you're speaking to world leaders but when you come on camera or when you're talking to your friends it's all of a sudden three letter words crazy right so yeah now this man has some news from different regions of the world that would be helpful for one of the main leaders one of the good guys per se so they've kind of joined together and they're trying to figure it out because everybody else wants them dead but they want to survive you know and they're smart and they're good looking and they know what to do i'm so sorry this was such a terrible explanation of shogun it is actually really good the book is very very good and the series uh especially the 2024 series because there's already another version that came out a long time ago but the 2024 version it's Mwah! amazing and y'all know i love to watch stuff so if i'm telling you that you should go watch that go watch it now you can find it on fx disney plus or hulu depending on your region so for example back in new york it will only show up on my hulu now that i'm in japan it's only showing up on disney plus for kyle who's in jamaica it's showing up on disney plus so take that with a grain of salt and figure out where you want to watch it bye that was a um a rant from me to you love you okay this is <laughs> bye all right we're about to end off night one with the bang we are gonna go to uh, izekaya which I don't really know how to describe. So I'm going to pop it up on the screen so you guys know exactly what it is. But basically, it's more of a restaurant that they have at nighttime. Yes, they do have some in the day. But it's more of a nighttime restaurant where other restaurants have closed. You can go there and get drinks and food. And it comes out pretty quickly and it's more affordable or I'm just trying to give y'all some descriptions. I should have done a better job at looking this up before I turned on the camera. 
but um yeah so i am having i put on a mini skirt not a mini skirt a mini dress and i'm gonna wear my doc martens i also attached a hair piece it's just um connectalon i don't know if you can see it it's just some extra braids that i twisted and tie it onto a scrunchie and then wrap it around my hair so the bun just look bigger. But I don't really think I needed it, but it's just I don't look oomph. Um so I'm gonna show you my outfit really quick. I'm gonna also film a TikTok video on what my outfit looks like. Feeling really cute. Cause those girls were bodying it earlier today. I know they were cold. I know they were cold you know why I know they were cold because I remember being them in high school in Buffalo New York when it was almost 20 15 10 8 9 degrees outside and skin out skin is showing elbows are sure near sure uncle are sure and Auntie Debbie would be like you're cold why are you what are you doing going to put on some extra clothes you're cool i'll be like cold cold i don't get cold yes i was cold but would i ever let the world know that no because i had to look cute so i'm gonna look cute right now and if i can, if i'm cold tonight nobody's gonna know and i'll deny it to the grave all right i'm talking too much again i'll be right back I have a mini dress on, black jacket from Zara. Here's my purse. Very, very cute socks. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw on my Doc Martens. They're super duper cute. I feel like it just fits the culture, fits the night. All right, when I head out on the road, I will come back to you guys. Same jewelry as usual. Rings from either K's, Macy's, or Zales. Apple watch and gold bracelet. Can't remember where these are from, but they kind of are like Bottega dupes. And necklace from my mom. That's it. Let's go. Alright guys, so I'm at this restaurant called High, High Ball. So that's interesting. They play some songs, I know. They actually even played, um, I, so, I feel so bad, I can't remember her name. Um, I put it on my mama, on my hood. I look good, I, 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 yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, they're playing a lot of songs, even our folk songs, so I'm shocked, even right now. So, the people behind the bar, they know what they're doing. Yeah, I had two of these. It's called the Orange something, hold on. It's called the Mandarin Orange and Mint Highball. It's pretty nice. I like it. And so I chose a Japanese restaurant to go to. Well, the sort of Japanese food. Because I was so disappointed in myself two nights in a row that I didn't get anything authentic. So now I have this um, Japanese radish and I got beru. I'm not sure what kind, but I just keep seeing everybody order beer, so I'm like, okay, I'll get one too. And then I have one chicken skewer, one, I can't remember what this one's called, but the name is right here. And then I got a chicken, um, a pork. and I like it, but the chicken, 
Let's try the chicken. Mm. It reminds me of it reminds me of jerk chicken. Which is funny. But like, you know how really good jerk chicken is moist and full of juice. This is like very very wet but it's like it's so juicy I like it but it does taste like jerk chicken Mm. There's cheese in this. This is my absolute favorite. <laughs> and the beer is nice. At first, it just tastes like regular beer, but after I have eaten some of this, it does bring out a sweeter flavor in it that I like. I like everything, except for the radish. I could do without the radish. Mm. 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 So good. Oh crap. I forgot to film for my TikTok. <laughs> In the moment. I'm gonna order another round. So because YouTube saw it first, I'm gonna do another one for TikTok. My phone is right here. This is what it's looking like. Mm -hmm. I think <laughs> pork, definitely peppers, and cheese. Everything's all finished. It was amazing. All done. And now I'm going home. So hopefully tomorrow I can find another exciting restaurant that's more local than the one I just had. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the morning. So we must send uh, the bill, the check. Check. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> okay. So, time to go. I just been feeling so nervous saying that. Anyway, good night. Bill came up to 2,101 yen. And here it is. I have 2,110. I could not find one dollar. So. Okay, for real this time, good night. <laughs> I've been up for the past three hours already I fell asleep last night to watching uh, Shogun that I was talking about yesterday and I didn't even get past the preview um, I guess it's the review of the last two episodes I was so tired that I didn't even actually get into the episode. I fell asleep before it started. So I woke up this morning um, just to um, follow up with family and friends because it's daytime for them. Already basically going into the evening. Um, after that I just stayed up and I watched Shogun and it was a brilliant episode. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Highly recommend that you go and check it out. And then after that, I just couldn't go back to sleep. It was already 6 o'clock at that point. So I'm just like, you know what? 
let me just go on YouTube, watch a couple videos, and now I'm just going to get ready for the day. Today, I plan to go to Shinjuku, Harajuku, and Shibuya. I want to see Shibuya Crossing, I want to see Shibuya Skytree, and then I want to do some shopping in um, Harajuku and Shinjuku. So, it'll be a lot of fun today, a lot of walking up and down. There's also Meiji Jingu, which is another shrine over on that side and there's also a restaurant a um traditional restaurant i need to pull it up so i can tell you what they serve they only do one dish i believe uh but the person that i watched when she was explaining it she said it was really nice to go to stores that or restaurants that only focus on one dish because when you're working on one dish you have the chance to perfect it you know like that is the one thing that you serve that is the one thing that you do every single day and yeah it's just amazing and I'd like to go and test it out the food that they serve is katsudan katsudan and let me pull it up really quickly says katsudan is a popular Japanese food, a bowl of rice topped with a deep fried breaded pork cutlet, egg, vegetable, and condiments. This dish takes its name from the Japanese words tonkatsu and donburi. So, ah, I'm so excited. All right, let's get ready for the day. There's this anime that I... This is the first anime that I ever watched that I fell in love with. Other than Dragon Ball Z. And those ones. This has to be my show. Uh, I didn't have my watch on me, so I had to just look time in Japan to see what time it was. And it's now, I think it's 10 minutes after 7. And I'm all dressed. So let me show you guys my outfit really quickly. Boop, boop, boop. I'm packing my bags. I'm going to open up the curtains. That's because I don't know who's in those apartments right across from me. And I don't want to expose myself, you know. But I'm going to open it up to get a semblance of light. So I can show y'all what I'm wearing. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this skirt. It's from Pink. I got my stockings on and I have these socks to add an extra layer um, of cuteness <laughs> and warmth. This sweater is from Zara and it's really cool because it zips from the top and the bottom. So like you can adjust it however you want to wear it and it does go all the way up but i got a fat neck so it chokes the hell out of me um other than that it's a super cute sweater i do have this blazer not blazer oh my lord see this is what i'm talking about i was just talking to myself for the past five minutes and not once did i say blazer i have this jacket this one is brown not to be confused with my black jacket but they're both from Zara I'm gonna wear my Doc Martens I'll show you guys that in a minute my black bag again I was thinking of switching to this bag but I don't know I think I think it would just clash which one would you guys pick would you pick the black tote or would you pick the brown tote Drop a comment down below. Why do I sound like Dora asking for help? I'm going with the black one. I just think it's really cute and it adds something extra to my outfit that makes it look a little bit more dressed up. I'm gonna go get some onigiri 
and I think I'm gonna get an orange juice because my throat just feels a little too itchy for my liking so yeah let's go to 7-eleven I think I may get a smoothie instead of getting the orange juice I I'll get a smoothie I'll get some actual fruits something healthy yeah bye <laughs> Another thing that I want to share with you guys, um, I've been using a Suica card. If you have an iPhone, it should be available on Android. I don't know about that. But this is it. This is what it looks like. I'll also pop it up on the screen. But it's a Suica card. I use it for the train. I use it for, you know, shopping. It's basically like Apple Pay but your Japanese eligible card so it's very 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 useful and you can top it up with your debit or your credit card um, let's go to While my smoothie is blending, guys, I just did a rookie move. I accidentally threw out the tag, well, not the tag, the top of the smoothie, and you need to scan it. So this man, he was like, wait, and um, it already fell in the garbage, and he went in the garbage for me. Yeah, so will not be happening again. That was my fault. For some reason, I'm just so used to tearing it off, throwing it out. But you have to prove that you paid for it by scanning it. So, yeah. So Google Maps was taking me to a completely different entrance. So I'm almost there now. I can see a crowd actually heading over there. So that's a sign that I'm heading in the right direction.
you all an omikuji. So I need to put my 100 yen. A single thread, when not taken properly from the very end, becomes all tangled and so hard to unravel. This waka poem was composed in a traditional 57577 syllable form by Empress Shoken, whose spirit is enshrined at Meiji Jingu. It is hoped that the poem's message based on the traditional Shinto ethics will have particular meaning for you. Hitsoji no sono itobushi mo taragaru ga motsure motsurete tokyo shi zonaki Side. So I'm gonna go up and just get a very nice um, technology free experience and I think that would be really nice right now. No. No, no. Is when visiting other countries it is so important that when you come to places like these and they have signs up that says no photography, no video, respect that sign. This group of people, right in front of the sign, went up, taking pictures, grabbing the flag, taking the picture. Like even the people were so like shocked that they were like, don't do that. It, it, even I'm looking like, are you not embarrassed? So yeah, just be respectful. There's so many places where you can take pictures that they don't say anything about, but right in front of the one place that they ask you not to take a picture, be respectful. It is so beautiful here. My time is coming to an end. I'm super duper cold. So I will see you guys in a minute. Before I leave Meiji Jingu, I am going to just walk around one of the inner gardens. There is a 500, 500 yen entry fee and that goes towards the upkeep of the garden. The inner garden is the only part that had existed long before the foundation of Meiji Jingu. In the early Edo period, this area was the garden of Lord Kato of Kumamoto and later went into the ownership of Lord Lee of Hikone. The third shogun Iyamatsu Tokugawa also visited, visited this garden. After the Meiji restoration, this area became the property of the imperial family and was named Yoyogi Gyoen. Emperor Meiji expressed great pleasure at this tranquil garden and composed a waka poetry in its honor. Deep in the woodland of Yoyogi, the quietude creates an illusion of seclusion from the city.
私送ってあげるよ Alright, guys, I've been in and out of stores, and they're too cute. Like, everything is just, it's so overwhelming. I can't make up my mind on where to go. I've seen、um, Daiso before, I think they have one in New York. But I cannot make up my mind on what to buy. But I know I want to get some gifts for everybody. But then I just don't know. Should I go all out and get something that is just like, you can only get this in Japan? Or should I buy, you know, just other gifts? I don't know. So. Everything. So I have my five hundred yen. Right. Sausage and rice cake skewers. Mm -hmm. Now we go behind the shop、yeah. to pick it up. It is so good. The rice cake tastes really good. Uh -huh. mm. oh. <laughs> That fell right out of my mouth. Okay, let's try again.
on the train and head to Shibuya so I can see the statue and so I can see Shibuya crossing there's also a restaurant over there that I would love to try I'm actually gonna step in the ASIC store and see what shoes they have because I heard they have some really cute shoes in here that you can only get in, in Japan The next station is Shibuya JY20. The doors on the right side will open. Please check. Alright, what you have here is Shibuya. I'm trying to find um, Shibuya Crossing now. I think it's this way. Sorry if the camera gets a bit shaky. Hi guys, this is Shibuya Crossing. I don't even know which side to cross. There was a video on TikTok that said it was a half. If you just go to the Starbucks, then you can see the crossing real clear. Super cool. I'm just gonna cross all the streets. <laughs> Let's start with this little one right here. Understand 
why it draws so much people here. My phone is dying and I thought that Burger King would have chargers. I really should have bought an external power bank. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go to Mega Donkey and buy one. So I stopped in Burger King, I bought food, came upstairs, and the charging stations, like the little plugs on the walls that they have, aren't working. So now I got a cute little fries and sundae. Yeah. What is it looking like? They're so fresh and nice. I hear um, burgers are the things to try. So I saw this one restaurant that looked um, specifically Japanese. And I think I may go back and try their burgers to see how well they do it. And for now, this small snack will hold me until I can get to the restaurant I was telling you guys about earlier, which is not too far. I'm in Mega Donkey now and I need to get a power bank but this is also the perfect place to come and buy gifts because there's just so much choices and they're all really affordable so this is pretty cool guys I'm all done with mega donkey and I got my power bank and some stuff to bring home the sun is starting to go down a little bit it's really really beautiful outside and it feels amazing so I'm gonna walk to that restaurant that I was telling you guys about earlier and when I get there I'll come back make sure you're liking up the video comment share and subscribe for more We also get um, a bowl of soup. camera is about to die so I'm gonna be quick that was so delicious it was honestly just the right amount it was perfect and at first I didn't really like the bear because I'm like mmm not the taste for me but once I started eating the bear um katsudan and drinking some of the miso the bear just it just was perfect I will be back before I leave. It was, it was something to write home about. I'll be leaving my Google pins down in the description box so if you want to check out any of the spots I've been to in this vlog. Now is the perfect time to pause the video, make sure you like before you reach the description box, and check out the Google pins. 
also I believe I was talking about it earlier if I didn't I use my Suica card to get around and I also use it to pay for a lot of things here in Japan but a lot of places still do accept only cash so make sure you're walking around with some cash if you plan to go to any of these smaller like family-owned mom-and-pop type restaurants don't say I didn't warn you all right guys I'm gonna head back to the Airbnb I'll see you when I get there <laughs> 